Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create tabs in your inspector using Unity Editor class. So this is a new project that I've created. I've also created a folder and created a script named the test and let me open this up. It includes three variables and a string, an integer and a boolean. So let's go back to the editor and create an empty game object. As you can see when I attach this script to this game object my variables are going to be displayed here in the inspector now let's create more variables let's go to the script I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here and here I'm just gonna say string 2 integer 2 boolean 2 this is going to be 3 3 and 3 okay and I'm gonna save that let's go back to the inspector as you can see they're all been displayed under each other but sometimes you want to create tabs so each one of these variables should be displayed in tabs it's very easy to do so to start doing that let's create a folder in our scripts and name it editor so here in my scripts folder and editor folder I'm gonna create another script and name it editor test so let's open this editor test script I'm just gonna clear this so here on top of our class I'm just gonna create a custom editor but before we do that we need to add the namespace so we're gonna say using unity editor and here we're gonna say custom editor and we're gonna open and close parentheses I'm gonna say type of and the type is going to be test test is going to be the same script that the variables have been defined in it so this editor test script is going to be a custom editor for this test script so let's go back here and also we're not gonna use mono behavior so we're gonna say editor now we need to override public override and we need to override on inspector GUI so let's open that so we need to remove the base and we need to create our tabs as an array of strings so let's create them so I've created three tabs and named them tab 1 2 and 3 of course you can choose as many tabs as you want and choose any name for them as you want and we also need an integer to identify the selected tab so let's say integer tab index and we need to assign a default value to this so if we choose 0 whenever we select the inspector tab with the index of 0 is going to be selected automatically if we put number 1 the second tab is going to be selected automatically whenever we select the game object and if we put minus 1 whenever we select the game object in the inspector none of the tabs are selected and you need to select one of them manually so I'm gonna choose this 0 so whenever I click the game object tab number 1 is going to be selected as default now here easily we can just say editor GUI layout dot begin vertical and that's it now here we need to say editor GUI layout dot end vertical and the, in the middle of this we're gonna say GUI layout dot toolbar and we're gonna use tab index and we're gonna also pass the tabs array also we need to say tab index equals to the value that this toolbar is going to be returned so let's go ahead and check this out as you can see I'm gonna select the game object and here they are the tabs are displayed for me and let me check this out whenever I click it tab number one is selected by default let's actually make it one and save it and if we go back so whenever we select the game object tab number two is selected by default so just like that we can create our tabs and make this zero again now we can simply display our variables based on the selected tab to do that we're gonna create a switch statement and we're gonna switch between tab index so in the case of default no tab has been selected you can handle that however you want so in the case of zero we're gonna break we also have the case of one which is the second tab and also case two which is going to be our third tab 
we could also create methods to handle those parts for us to make our code organized let's actually create the methods for them I'm just gonna copy and paste this and I'm gonna say tab 1 the same thing here and here this is going to be tab 2 and tab 3 and here whenever we want to get a reference to our test script we're gonna say test equals to target of course we need to cast the target to test now whenever tab 1 selected we want to display only these three variables and if you go ahead and check out the unity editor GUI layout here in the documentation you can find a bunch of options to display different type of variables so let's go ahead and find the text field we can use this for our string so let me go to the documentation page of the text field and let's check this out we can simply say editor GUI layout text field and create a text field just like this. So I'm going to copy only that part. So I'm going to paste it here. So our test dot string number one is going to be equals to a text field. And here we also going to pass the test dot string number one value. And we can also choose a label for this, any label you want. A string one and now we need to do exactly the same thing for our integer and boolean values so let me say integer integer one and instead of text field I'm gonna use int field and I'm gonna say integer one and this is going to be integer one and we can do the same thing for our boolean and here we're gonna say boolean one and instead of in field, we're going to use toggle. The toggle is going to be used for booleans. So we're going to say toggle one or boolean one. Let's just say bool one. And this is going to be boolean one. So just like that, whenever tab one is called, these three variables are going to be displayed with the labels we've defined for it. And let me just copy this and paste it here in tab two and tab three. And instead of number one, I'm going to change all the ones to two. And here I'm going to change them to three. So I'm going to save this and let's see how it looks. Now as you can see when I select this tab number one is selected and the three variables here are shown. When I go to tab two the same thing for the second variables and tab three. I'm going to change it to some values and let's change also the number and let's check this boolean. Whenever we switch between the tabs, the values are different. So that's basically it. That's how you can create tabs in your inspector. So to find more information about different types of GUI layouts, you can go to the documentation and check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video.